start. Water from the bottom of the beaker to the edge, 
and this is how this will be done. The process will continue until the water is boiled. So let's watch and see what will happen when the water boils. You can see that the molecule, the molecules of the water will be seen moving around. Can you see the molecules of the water? Can you see the molecules in the water? The molecules are still moving. We are still eating the water. Until the water girl for. So that is what that is for conversion. Now let's move to the third one, which is radiation. In this radiation, the heat generated at one end, at one end, is carried by means of waves and does not require a material medium. This does not require any material medium. Its energy from the sun is radiated to the earth. So we can feel the heat of the sun on the earth. For example, look at the sun that is coming out on a daily basis. Heat of that, this sun is not shining in a particular place. The sun did not fall directly to a particular place. The, the sun goes round, it radiates in the world for everybody to watch, to feel it. So every individual is feeling the sun. Whether you are in Nigeria or you are in America, anywhere in the world. And the sun is just one, one, but it's going to circulate round the world. It's going to go round. It's going to radiate round the world. So that is for what? That is for radiation. Now let's evaluate. What is thermal energy? Thermal energy is the heat energy and can be transferred from one from one form to another. We can transfer it from one form to what to another. We have three ways in which this energy can be transferred. The first one is conduction. This conduction is when heat is transferred or handed on from one particle to the next. For the conversion, is the particles. In this method, the particles move and carry the heat with them. It moves and carry the heat with them. That is the example we just finished showing. We showed the pots and the water in it. We eat the water and we can see the particle molecules in it. Now, the next one is radiation. In this course, the heat is generated at one end and is carried by the means of what? By the means of wave to circulate everywhere. And we illustrate, we use sun as the example of the radiation. Now, our assignment. Our assignment, we are going to define the production. We want to define the production. So this will be our assignment for the next class. Thank you.